So just getting started as an instructor, I'm signed in as an instructor. I click on a link to a site that I'm instructor on, in which I've already prepared a content area called eReflect. I go there and then I create a web link which is going to take me to um, the Mac Cloud application. I'll just call it Mac and I just paste in the link and then I check this box. This link is to a tool provider and then um, I think I could just click submit. So click submit on that and there we are and then to begin to access the cloud application click on the Mac link again as I'm doing this as an instructor and this brings up my basic profile page I click Save on that to continue then I select from this drop-down any of the sites that I am um, uh, an instructor and I just noticed that there's two Mac clouds in this drop-down list that's because I did it once yesterday and then I deleted that, that first Mac Cloud site um, and now I'm presuming it's this one that I'm looking for. Uh, so we go here and then I can click on um, New Questionnaire and I can give it a name and I'll call it Health. Leave the date set as today. The time is wrong. 11.17 local time. Put some instructions in please. Complete all questions. And then I click save on that I think. But that isn't particularly intuitive. Um, so the questionnaire is saved. It's got no questions. And if I click modify to begin authoring questions and I scroll down I can't oh here's the option to import a file so choose a file to upload that doesn't look like it's a link but when I click on it it is I'll browse for an e-reflect questionnaire file albeit this comes from the old e-reflect double click on that and then I'm assuming I click send and that gives me a message that the questionnaire has been updated if I now modify the questionnaire again I can't actually see any of the questions that I've imported Okay, I'll stop there.